In today's tutorial, we'll be creating a basketball sports composite. First, select the composite tile to create the project and name your project basketball, for example. Upon reaching the settings page automatically, set the page dimensions to 8x10 inches with a safe zone of 0.25 inches and a bleed of 0.125 inches. Next, import players by selecting the index tab. Choose import and then import custom file index since we have a sports format predefined for quick importation. I'll quickly demonstrate how it's structured in the spreadsheet. We adhere to the standard PSPA column names, such as file name for the player image, F name for the first name, and L name for the last name. Memento Composite excels in supporting custom fields as needed. For instance, we've defined team name, team player number, coach name, playing position, and year. This allows us to easily update specific fields next year and reuse the project for instantaneous results. Let's return to the File Open dialog and click Open to import the data. Our four players are now imported. By clicking on a player, the Property tab on the right will display all associated data, which you can modify. You can even directly add new fields for your player data. Let's move to the editor to begin crafting our sports composite. Click on the composite icon to create a composite frame. Since we're creating a sports composite, we'll adjust the frame to fill the entire page using the resize handle. Then, expand main settings and set the composite frame query to team name, followed by eagles and then IntelliFlow, ensuring one player per page. We desire a different look than this for our eagle basketball team. Memento Composite allows you to design and assign your custom templates to any composite frame. Go to Portrait Template, expand it, and select the desired template from the dropdown. I've pre-designed one named Eagles Demo. Click on Edit Portrait Template to modify it. I prepared this template before the demo, but concealed all layers. I'll explain the creation process. Open the Layer View by clicking on the vertical menu and selecting Layer View. Begin with the background by dragging and dropping it into the layout. Then, add a light behind the player for a dramatic effect. Next, incorporate the player's first name, ensuring it's positioned behind the player. Here, we're tagging F name for automatic replacement during composite generation. Add a metal plate and some smoke over it. It looks odd. I will adjust the smoke behind the player by selecting Move Down the Smoke Layer. Add the senior year and team names. When clicking on these layers, like the team name, they're set to be replaced. You can modify any parameter in the right panel, including fonts, sizes, line spacing, and letter spacing, to name a few. Then, add the last name and, for a final touch, place some smoke on both sides of the metal plate. I want to slightly alter the image background's temperature effect because it's too yellow for my taste. Let's try it by going into the Effect Image Properties and using the temperature slider. Much better. Now, let's try to change and recolor the light effect behind the player to something light blue. However, it doesn't seem to work, so I'll reset it to pure white. Now satisfied with the outcome, I click Save to apply my changes and return to the layout to view the result. I'm almost finished. The last step is to click Generate Composite Set to produce the sports composite for each player. And there we have it, all done. After generating the composite, you can enter any specific one for final adjustments. For example, I'll add some sharpness to this image and zoom in slightly. Finally, once you're done, click Finalize to export every composite in your desired file format, including PSD with layers for further modifications in Photoshop. 